Although a traditional bodybuilding diet is far healthier than a standard American diet, a vegan diet, the majority of what we see people consuming, it's still a far cry from making people healthy. Let's see what Sadiq is eating today. Muscle and strength. What's up? It's Sadiq Hadzovic. Today, we're taking you through a full day of eating, part number two. All right, meal one, first meal of the day. What we have here is five egg whites, one yolk. We have six ounces of red potato, and we have four ounces of top sirloin. And the reason we got red meat is because I like to train early in the day. Look how nice that kitchen is. Look how nice his house is. He's got Eggland's best crappy eggs, low quality potatoes and meat from the supermarket, not organic, nothing from the farm. It's kind of a funny contrast having having that low quality food in that kitchen. And one thing I just can't get past with these bodybuilders is, yeah, they work hard. Yeah, they diet harder than everyone else. But you know, when you're taking performance enhancing drugs and you're not honest about what other things you're using to look and feel like you do, it creates this like blurry line of trust that makes it hard for me to believe this would work for anyone. Uh, the meal, I mean, you know, it's not organic. There's definitely agrochemical concerns. I mean, potatoes, steak, and eggs, those aren't bad foods if they were high quality from a local farm. Uh, he did do one egg yolk instead of, you know, whole eggs. And although the nutrition is in the egg yolk, in the case of the high omega-6 estrogenic feedlot conventional stuff, he's probably better off sticking with just the egg, with just the egg whites. But then there's a biotin concern as the avidin in the egg whites can cause that type of deficiency agrochemical concerns, estrogenic concerns in the red meat. Absolutely. I think the potatoes are actually the healthiest and least inflammatory thing he consumed in this meal. And um, need some sort of fats along with my first meal. So my barber wanted to get in shape the other day and he was talking to me like about how much he should eat, like how much food he should be eating. So he told me what he's doing. I was like, hey man, I think you should have like a minimum of like six ounces of protein in every meal. Like if he's eating four meals. And I forget that people don't know what six ounces is because not everyone weighs their food. So one good rule of thumb that I told him was the palm of your hand is usually three to four ounces. So if you were to measure, I guess, like a piece of chicken breast, you want to be comparable to your hand. So if you're eating six or seven ounces, it's about the size of your hand. So it's a good little trick. I mean, don't take that to the bank, but it's a good thing if you don't have a scale. It's a good thing if you don't have a scale. Oh. So my whole life I've been a very stubborn, stubborn gainer. It's hard for me to put on muscle or weight or any kind of muscle mass whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> so what I started doing early on in my career was um, 30 grams of carbohydrates with one scoop of branched chain amino acids, sipping on it during my workout to help keep me full and give me great pumps. I used to do uh, raw milk in the gym. Uh, that's way better than that crap. And there's way better stuff you can drink in the gym, doing the gym than you know a generic carbohydrate BCAA supplement. All right guys, post-workout, meal number two. This is my go-to meal. I always start off with a Gatorade, of course, but what I'm usually eating is jasmine rice with eight ounces of chicken breast. There's nothing more than I love doing is just eating my meals fresh at home, but- I can't believe this guy eats this. There's no way this guy eats this. Gatorade, do we, we really have to talk about how bad Gatorade is? 
who know what's in that plastic? Who knows what types of water they're using? Who knows what chemicals are in Gatorade? He, he slopped that rice out of a plastic bag that he probably threw in the microwave. So he's radiating his brain and his food. And conventional chicken is one of the worst things you can consume. At least it's lean chicken breast. So there's not as many agrochemicals and crap in it. But you're getting in your protein calories, your carbohydrates, and you're hoping that your liver can deal with the oxidative stress and the inflammation from the low food quality. But today we're rather busy. So I had to plan this before the gym, package it up, eat it right away. Bodybuilders obsess over, oh man, I got to eat five, six, seven meals a day. But I could eat three to four of those meals in one sitting. So I don't understand why these guys stress so much about getting in their protein consistently throughout the day. You know, I've eaten two meals per day for my whole bodybuilding transformation. If you're using drugs, if you're consuming an incredible volume of food, if you're a strong man, I can see why you'd have to eat more meals. But this guy's just splitting up lower calorie meals. It's, you know, five, six times a day instead of eating three or four higher calorie meals. Skip the meal if you're so busy and eat more later or eat more earlier. I got a lot of heat from my last video because I didn't chop up my chicken breast. I just pretty much like ate the chicken breast in one piece. So all you guys in the comment section, you can see I actually chopped up my chicken breast this time. Everyone's poisoning themselves with conventional chicken and they're worried about how they're cutting it up. <laughs> All right, we are going to BMW. Right now we're in the 530. This is the loaner car. We're gonna go pick up my car. And um, after that, we're gonna eat, rest, eat, rest, eat. And then we're gonna rest and eat, all right? I guess bragging about your BMW is part of your day of eating. Let me just check the rims. Bro. Oh, you did. You did hand wash it. I told, I told no car wash, you hand wash it. My man, I love you, bro. All right, baby, we good. All right, guys, that's it. Got the car. I'm going to rush out to the doctor's appointment, come back home, and get in meal number three. I think Sadiq actually lives really close to me, uh, somewhere in New York. All right, midday. It's meal number three. It's not the most exciting meal, guys, but I do enjoy veggies, believe it or not. And uh, it's just chicken and broccoli. But heck, chicken and broccoli always works. Uh, bodybuilders have been doing this for years. Stick to the basics. Eight ounces of chicken, and we're gonna about to have a handful of broccoli. I mean, the chicken broccoli rice stuff is what I did for a while when I started. And you can build muscle on that. You know, as I said earlier, bodybuilders eat better than most standard Americans. Uh, and, and, you know, we already critiqued the chicken. We already critiqued the, the starch, the potatoes, and, and very similar problems with this meal. You know, he's not going organic. So there are agrochemical concerns. Uh, I don't know why this guy is consuming such small meals. It's kind of kind of irritating. Is, is there some nutrition he's getting here? I mean, starch to feed his gut bacteria, some minerals from the broccoli and the chicken, but it's so far from what you could be eating to be healthy. A good overall explanation of these bodybuilding diets is a lot of macronutrient energy with not a lot of micronutrient energy, and it's less inflammation than a standard American diet, but there are still some pollutant and omega-6 concerns. My favorite meal of the day, with the exception of breakfast, is meal number four always got some red meat on the menu at least once a day Ooh, Ooh baby that looks good a man after my own heart dirty ass grill that he doesn't clean i'm in the same boat buddy oh my god it's about 10 ounces right here we're only gonna eat seven ounces 
but we're gonna save the other three for tomorrow's breakfast. That's that's, that's just it. This is why I stopped the bodybuilding nonsense. I'm cooking ten ounces of steak, but I'm only gonna eat seven ounces because that's what my diet tells me to do. Throughout my whole bodybuilding transformation, I've always eaten to appetite, and your appetite is generally the best indicator for your nutrition status. As you saw meal one, we got some steak with our eggs. Now, this is meal four. We got seven ounces of top sirloin with cooked to hell and back. Grams of carbs coming from grits. I don't know why bodybuilders eat grits. Uh, the steak is, you know, feedlot meat, estrogenic concerns, heavily overcooked protein. I mean, he's getting some B vitamins and some protein. Grits are just processed corn. I don't know why you would choose that as a carbohydrate source. They must be so full of chemicals. Not that great on digestion. You know, the micronutrient content of this meal isn't really that significant. Again, just macronutrient energy. Yo, baby, meal number five. And we got a hot potato here for sure. So I already weighed out this potato before I threw it in the microwave. It is 6.1 ounces. Really, I'm allowed to have six ounces with 50 grams of protein. Today we're using GAT protein, Nitro Whey. And this is by far one of my favorite meals because like I said before, I'm just tired of chewing and chewing, chewing. So if I could just drink my meal, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy right now. I post this on Instagram and people blew up. They lost their minds at what I just did. So check this out. One six ounce potato. And we're going to do two scoops of protein. Peanut butter cookie plus a sweet potato. So it's a sweet potato peanut butter cookie flavor protein shake. Damn, that's not good. That's not good. I don't understand why these bodybuilders think it's healthy just if you add protein to it. I mean, is a sweet potato the worst thing? No. You know, again, he doesn't buy organic produce. At least I don't think he does. Protein powder is... Well, it's not grass-fed protein, which is definitely an issue. So there's agrochemical concerns. There's estrogenic concerns of the conventional milk products used to make that whey and all the chemicals they put in the whey protein itself. Uh, you know, I mean, high-quality grass-fed whey protein with an organic sweet potato, I mean, that's probably you know double the money invested, time invested to source the product, but at least you'd be getting something that's really nutritious. It's funny that he eats so clean all day and then he'll throw this protein powder crap into his body without a second thought but this could be a sponsorship deal with that specific uh, protein brand so i don't know and we are finally on our last meal meal number six guys it is seven egg whites one whole egg i got some broccoli and how could I forget? I got my Ezekiel Raisin Toast. I got two slices. Um, it's in a toaster. It should be up. Oh, there it is. Boom. Number one. And number two. So I'm going to eat this meal, head off to sleep. And uh, I just want to thank everyone at Muscle and Strength for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you check out my personal YouTube channel by clicking the link in the description below. Good night. Sponsored by Big Ezekiel. I think there's like a conspiracy to sell Ezekiel bread to bodybuilders or something because everyone eats them. I mean, he's consuming egg whites and vegetables. Not really much to offer from a nutrient standpoint. I hope this guy is supplementing uh, biotin uh, because consuming that many egg whites, he might get that type of deficiency. Maybe he just has a really healthy gut. He can tolerate it. The only thing we didn't really touch on was the nutrition of whey protein, which is actually really good. Whey protein can have a lot of B vitamins, a lot of minerals, be excellent for you. But as I said, if it's grass fed, if it's from high quality animals. So I think we've gotten the theme of what these bodybuilders are eating, how they can improve, you know, go organic, increase the quality of the meat, of the starch, of the produce, and you'd have just about the healthiest diet you can follow. You know, there wouldn't be uh, too much more to add besides some healthy fats, maybe some seafood here and there, and they'd be good to go. 
Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, leave a comment down below and share the video on social media if you can. If you do want to support me further, please check out all the links in the description. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Thank you.